I'm Bob Wagner, also known as Eddie Rubberto, appropriately named that in the Dream Valley. Here we are to tell you about the Dream Valley and the, the, the cabin and in the, in the mountains and, and the story of Eddie and Joni. And we actually have my brother, Brother Fran, also known as Frankie Hayes. He's on the scene here at the cabin and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the cabin and Eddie and Joni and Dream Valley. Yes, yes, thank you, Ed. Um, yeah, we're here today in uh, Dream Valley where it all started for Eddie and Joni. Um, right behind me in this pink cabin is uh, the cabin that Flo and Wheeze purchased back in 1969. And uh, right behind this cabin is the Martell cabin where Joni lived. So Eddie lived here, and right across the creek, a verb uh, virtual stone's throw is where uh, Joni lived. So they, they got together pretty frequently. But this, is a, this was a great time, aside from Joni and Eddie, we had a very good time up here, I'm sorry, uh, where uh, we played horseshoes and went fishing and did hiking and all that good stuff. And pretty much the place is uh, just about as you, uh, as we remember it. It's actually even back to the, uh, to the same, same pink uh, color that it originally was. We have a lot of Mount Laurels and stuff like that. And we're going to go, um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put the mic up. Uh, uh, we're going to go up and take a look at the lake and the barn, and there was a lot of action up there as well. Okay, here we are at the Anglers Club Lake now. Uh, this lake was built by our father and our, our grandfather. It's a man-made lake, probably made somewhere around the 40s and 50s. And they dug the lake out and they hauled rocks down off of the hill to make the breastwork. But uh, this is the Anglers Club Lake, which is kind of the centerpiece of the, the Clareton Anglers Club, where all the fishing took place and the infamous first day of trout seasons. Nestled near the lake at the Clareton Anglers Club is this famous pavilion. And uh, in the pavilion in the day, people would come by and escape some of the sunlight and sit down in the shade. But in the evenings, you know, we took our, our little girlfriends down there and, and, and we had some stories to tell. But the pavilion was a, it was a nice little place there beside the Anglers Club Lake. Uh, what do you think of that, Fran? Yes, uh, yeah, the uh, pavilion was right over here. This is where uh, Eddie and Joni got together quite a bit. And behind the pavilion, maybe Eddie's showing this to you, this is a big unsightly white barn, actually, over this one. Uh, that is where the, uh, the annual Fourth of July Labor Day picnics, uh, etc., were held. We had quite a good time up here. And one other thing I want you to show, Ed, is uh, right behind you to the right there is the actual float that uh, people can swim to in the middle of the summer. It looks a little bit bizarre now with a bunch of uh, oxygen tanks or something underneath it, but that's where we used to swim out to the middle of the lake. Quite fascinating. There's a view up the hill. You can see where the windmills are now. Things have certainly changed. Uh, Still pretty, but a little bit different with all those windmills up there. Now, this latest generation, do you think they're having as much fun okay. as our generation had at the Anglers Club? That's a good question. I think so. Uh, but I can't say for sure uh, what his experience was before that. And what do you think of the lawyers and the realtors? Do you think a real estate agent could, could sell some of the property here at the Anglers Club? And do you think there's any act of litigation regarding the Anglers Club of Clareton. Definitely no way. No. That never would have happened because Weezer would have tolerated it. Do you think that termites are, are going to destroy the barn like they destroyed the farmhouse? I don't understand your question. Do you think that termites are, are going to destroy the barn like they destroyed the farmhouse? You know, it depends on how you look at it. But we had a good time up here and uh, it was a good it was a good time and it's been 30 some years since this reporter's been up here and I'm glad to have been here today to bring this all to you so well that's a wrap uh, we hope you enjoyed the the tour of the dream valley and the story of the Claire Mangler's Club thanks a lot for visiting with us today